guys, Slash Pepper here, and welcome to another video. Uh, today, I'll be doing a review to Killing Spree, a movie from 1987, directed by Tim Ritter, and also written by him. <laughs> this movie is hilarious, and I mean, it, it's it's so bad that it's good. I mean, you have B-movies. I guess some people would call Fate to Black a B-movie, uh, which I did in the last episode of Dr. Pepper Diner. I guess some people would call it a B-movie. Or like Simon like Deadly Night, people would call that a B movie. But um, the difference between Killing Spree and Simon Night Deadly Night, just for example, you know, uh, is that Simon Night Deadly Night. Some people enjoy it because it's so bad, it's good. But I genuinely enjoy that film. You know, I genuinely think that's a well-made movie. Uh, so that's the difference between most horror fans like me and mainstream audiences, because mainstream audiences think that. Um, Side Night Deadly Night is so bad that it's good, but us horror fans actually genuinely like that sort of stuff. At least I do, and most uh, horror fans, a lot of people I know do. Uh, like let's say OCB Communications uh, agrees with that. Anyway, this is definitely not like Side Night Deadly Night, a well-made movie. Uh, this is actually so bad that it's good. So let me just read the synopsis here. A man suspects his wife of adultery and goes on a killing spree, eliminating all he believes are sleeping with her, but his victims don't stay dead. Yeah, that's that's like a spoiler there, uh, <laughs> because uh, no, they don't stay dead. Uh, this, this movie is hilarious. This has lots of gore in it, and I mean lots of gore. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> it. <laughs> Sometimes, like, the overacting in the gory scenes is just hilarious. You got so much overacting in this, it's absolutely insane. Like, there's, like, a, a one-liner where he says, uh, uh, You screw with my wife, I put a screwdriver in your head, and then he drops, like, a screwdriver <laughs> driver in someone's head. It's just stuff like that. It's insane. You got the scene with all the guts and stuff. He's just laughing. And, you know, I... <laughs> I laugh myself at that scene. <laughs> I know it sounds sick, but it's it just I couldn't hold my laugh there because it was just absolutely insane. The main character, Tom Russo, he has like a really weird beard and hairstyle. It's yeah, if if you walk with that kind of hairstyle, be made fun of. Really, you got this really really weird soundtrack. It's as if someone just played some random notes, and that's the music. It's absolutely insane. Um, but it does kind of fit the movie because it's. It's it's kind of cartoonish and there's like some cartoonish scenes and then you hear the music and it just perfectly fits in and the, the music is just so different like at some points it sounds like it's a it's from a like a cartoon show or something and at other points it sounds like it's actually from like a horror movie and it's rare to say the least <laughs> and in the movie you also have like some weird lights and stuff like for example when the main character gets mad you uh, uh, the light turns red like the entire house, like almost the entire movie is like with a white background and it really pops but it's weird because it's like this kind of breaks the fourth wall, right? Uh, and it, it, it's something you've never seen before ever in a horror movie or in a movie in general actually. This is the type of movie that I could just, you know, grab me this camera and make right now. Like it's it's that low budget and that easy to make honestly. <laughs> I gotta give a shout out to Brandon from Whopper Horror over on Instagram because he actually, well he didn't recommend it straight to me you know, but he recommended it um, to someone. He also, do, uh, he always does these like questions in his story and uh, people get to ask him questions and someone asked him what's the most underrated horror movie from the 80s and he said uh, Killing Spree. So I checked it out and um, I absolutely love this film. <laughs> it's hilarious. I will definitely be recommending this to every one of you watching this right now. If you thought your last one hour and 22 something minutes were fun, they weren't as fun as my last one hour and 22 minutes watching Killing Spree. So definitely go check this movie out. From a critical standpoint, I would never give this uh, movie this high of a rating, but I'll definitely give it a uh, 9 Dr. Peppers out of 10. Yeah, I know, it's insane. <laughs> But it's just hilarious. I love this film. I really did have a great time watching it. Anyway, I really don't have anything else to say uh, about Killing Spree. 
Except, thank you guys so much for watching, and go check this movie out. It's hilarious, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Oh! You're pissing me off, Roger. It's not